Hey, welcome friends. This is the uh, homework 1.7 on translations uh, that we're doing the exercises now. And so you can see page 53, 1 through 17, 23 through 25, 29 through 31 odd. I'm going to be working through a couple problems uh, with you, 5, 7, and 11, and 17. Okay, so nice of me. I'm so generous. Okay, let's get started. Number five, working on various types of taking figures and changing their shape, their size, or their um, position. Again, we learned about rotating, rotations, um, rotations, translations, and reflections. So number five uh, it says that a figure has vertices negative two, negative three, two. Okay, it's gonna give us three vertices. And it says after the transformation, the figure has new vertices, draw the image and identify the transformation. Okay, so this is a lot like something we did on the, the notes. Uh, let's do, go ahead and do it. Um, a is back three up two. One, two, three up two. So we've got A. Uh, B is back one, down one. And C is back four, down two. Back four, down two. Okay, notice I even say this out loud because just looking at it, even though it's by myself, I'd probably be saying it to make sure I don't mix up my X's and my Y's. Um, you want to graph kind of slow like that, but go ahead and label these A, B, and C. All righty, go ahead and do our, our image in blue now. Um, so after, now we have A prime is over three up two, one, two. And remember, that's not from the, from the, another point. That If it gives it as a uh, coordinate, that's from the, the origin. So starting here uh, in the center, uh, over three up two. So that's A prime. Uh, now B prime is over one, down one. So we have A prime, B prime, and C prime has gone to four negative two. C prime, oops, that's not a very good prime. There we go. Go ahead and connect our little triangle. So there's our new friend. So you can take a look at it and you can see, okay, did it spin or rotate? Um, did it just slide over or did it get reflected or flipped? Um, and I think we can see here, whoops, I forgot to label my B. Oh no, I didn't, just got over there. Um, that it looks like it got flipped across the Y axis uh, because both Bs are one away from the, you know, uh, here and here. They're both one distance away. The A's are one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I can see that all my points are the same distance from a line. So that means that this must be a reflection. Okay, and actually, I, mean, I guess they, they want what they want you to do is write out the notation, which would be something like triangle ABC was translated in, or transformed into triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, pretty easy. All right, so let's check it out. Let's go ahead and go on to number seven. Um, And they also say in the book, if you look it up, it says it was translated across, it was reflected, I'm sorry, reflected across uh, the y-axis. So if you wanted to note that, they, they note that here. Uh, reflection, y-axis, squeeze that in there. Okay, so number seven is this wonderful picture of the rocket ship. You can see my awesome rocket ships there. They're beautiful, but they got the uh, positions roughly the same. Um, and it says the coordinates I'm sorry, it says, uh, gives a description, animated film, a simple scene can be written out as a rule of translation. So that means a translation means a slide, it's just gonna shift. Because if you're animating, something's moving, it's like this rocket ship, you know, blasting off into the unknown regions of space. Um, and so it's write a rule for the translation. So in other words, how did one, rocket one, become rocket two? Well, what we wanna do is we wanna track what was the vertical shift, and what was the horizontal shift? I'll just start horizontal because that's X and that comes first. Um, and so when you look at your rockets, look for a fixed point. It might not be clear which part, a certain part of the rocket lies on a fixed point, but I, I recommend you go ahead and just look at the tips because that, if you, in our book, you can see those are pretty much right on the crosshairs of two points. And so how does the tip of the rocket ship horizontally get to this, the other point? Well, let's see, it goes one, two, three, four. So it moved four this way. 
And then how did it get up there? It went one, two, three. Oh, it went four up as well. So what that rocket ship did is it went x4, x plus 4, y plus 4. And so when it says describe or write the rule, what they're saying is so xy, the original pre-image, was transformed of x plus 4, comma, y plus 4, because they were each moved in a positive 4 direction. Um, and that's it. And that's what it just means to uh, write a rule. And again, you just can track that horizontal and that vertical distance. Remembering that horizontal is x, vertical is y. All righty, number 11. Uh, number 11 states, gives us coordinates of a, b, c, d. I went ahead and already drew that. And then it says find the coordinates of the image after the translation, and it gives us this rule, uh, which it says is x, y. And again, don't be scared by the notation. Hopefully you see how simple it is x, y is x positive 3 or x plus 3, whoops, and y minus 2. Okay, so that means we're just going to take every point, and x plus means it's going to go 3 to the right, y negative 2 means it's going to go down 2. So uh, because I've graphed it, I'm just going to use the points rather than do any specific math. So I can take b, and I'm going to go 1, Whoops, it's in super mode. It's going to go one, two, three. So three to the right and down two. One, two. So B prime is right here. Okay. Um, and then I, I'm not going to draw the little bumps that, for each image, but take the same thing with uh, A and go one, two, three, one, two. So A prime is right here. D would be one, two, three, one, two. So D prime is right down here. I can start to connect these. And then C prime is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Just again, over 3 to the right, negative 2 down. So that is C prime right there. All right, so there she is. And this was a slide or a translation. It was just slid a little bit down and to the right um, because X, the X moved it this way, but then the negative Y brought it down. All righty, and you know, all we had to do was draw those two things. So there is my finished product. And again, um, the coloring helps, but I don't need to box my answer because that would just probably make it look gnarly. All right. And last example I'm going to do with you is number 17, where it's given us the points of F, G, and H. And then it says draw a uh, triangle F, G, H and its reflection across the following line. So 17 says to reflect this across the, uh, the Y axis. Oh, let me switch my pen. Uh, across the y-axis here, okay? And what that means is a reflection, every point is the same distance from the line. So be careful. Uh, if you, it's not going to look something like this because that wouldn't be across the y-axis here. That would be across this line right here. So be careful with reflections because sometimes it can seem simple, but we're not quite seeing it right. In this case, everything has to go, it's as if we spun it around this pole here. So that means this G point is actually going to, instead of being one to the left, is going to be right here, one to the right. And F, rather than being one, you know, one, two, three uh, to the right, it's going to be one, two, three to the left. So F prime is actually right here. Oops. Okay. Uh, and then H, instead of being one, two, three, four, five to the right, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five to the left. And so that's my H prime. So if we connect those, we have our new triangle, F prime, G prime, H prime. And we can see that it reflects directly across that Y axis. Um, if we had done number 16, we would have reflected it across the X axis. And in that case, it would have looked, you know, something more like more like, oops, more like this. Uh, not very good, but yeah, something more like that. Uh, but anyway, that's not what we're doing. And so across the y-axis, we're going to go this way versus taking it and flipping it that way. Um, and that's all we had to do was draw that. So there we go. Hopefully this lesson doesn't take you too long. Hopefully you enjoy drawing, get a little precise on your graph paper. You can see why it's important we're not using any lined paper, but always our, our grid paper. And please reach out. A lot of you are reaching out on Zoom chat with questions about either the quizzes that you need to take after each of these lessons um, or problems in the book. Please keep doing that. Um, 
uh, don't practice it wrong. If you practice these wrong, uh, you're just going to uh, miss them all when it really counts for points in the class. Same thing with copying out of the back of the book. A couple of people were doing that um, and it showed on your quiz course. So please don't do that either. All right. Uh, again, let me know how I can help. This will be our last lesson. Next up is the review sections 1.5 through 1.7. Thank <laughs> you.